Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. I felt like Caramel Apple Cookie would be a great candle to review for the month of October. I really enjoy Fall Apple Cider from Bath & Body Works which to me wasn't really a cider fragrance at all. To my nose it smelled more like a caramel apple and since I enjoyed that one, I decided to pick up Goose Creek's Betty Crocker Caramel Apple Cookie to get my last caramel apple fragrance fix for the fall. On the front label we have a yummy looking batch of what appears to be sugar cookies with chunks of caramel chips in them. As I mentioned in my review of Banana Walnut Muffin, I really like the label design. It's like they're simple and not doing too much, yet they're cute at the same time. For it to be a Betty Crocker label, I feel the classic label fits the branding of the company. The scent story states you can't go wrong taking your favorite fair treat and combining it with a freshly baked cookie. Chopped fresh apples covered in thick caramel are baked inside a sweet sugary cookie. The scent notes are sweet caramel, ripe apple, and freshly baked cookie. I'm someone who enjoys a good caramel fragrance and the caramel note in this scent blend is well done. It doesn't come off artificial or cloying and it's well blended with the apple note. On cold, while both notes are present, one doesn't overpower the other and they are equally balanced. The scent I got on cold led me to believe this was going to just be a caramel apple scent, but once I burned it, the aroma that I got was that of a sweet delicious treat being baked in the oven. The apple note remained present, the caramel lightened up a bit, and added a pleasant dose of sweetness to the scent while the cookie note remained in the background. I'm not mad at the cookie note being the least dominant note because I feel it allows the sweet caramel and apple notes to shine more, giving the scent a sweet and warm fall vibe. I'm sure we'll get our basic sugar cookie scents for the winter and holiday season, but at the time I'm filming this, it's fall, so I believe this is the perfect cookie scent for the fall season. If you enjoy caramel apple scents and don't mind a bit of bakery added to it, then I say give this one a try. Everyone's nose is different, and to my nose, this doesn't smell like a straightforward caramel apple fragrance while it's burning. Here on the fourth burn and approaching the midpoint, this candle is performing great so far. This candle does come with rope-like wicks, but they are more on the medium side. They don't seem to be as thick as the wicks that are on the banana walnut muffin candle. The wax pool is clean and so far there's no soot so we're good to go as far as the burn performance. I prefer my bakery scents in an open concept and I tend to place them in my dining room since that is the midpoint to my living room and kitchen. The scent was able to fill my entire open concept and travel a bit up my staircase. The fragrance is very noticeable without being too sweet or overpowering. In my home, this candle falls into the strong medium range, so I'll rate it a 7 to 7.5 out of 10 in an open concept without the use of a hurricane. In my opinion, Goose Creek did a great job with this fragrance. Sometimes apple and caramel scents can smell off-putting while lit, but to me this smelled just as yummy as it did on coal while it was burning. As much as I'm enjoying burning this candle, I'm not going to repurchase it only because I have a couple of more apple scents that I want to burn through this fall season that I don't want to carry into next year. I do feel this is repurchase worthy though and if Goose Creek releases something similar to this next year, I would repurchase it. This is my first time having a caramel apple scent blend from Goose Creek and it certainly won't be my last. Until next time, bye!